Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hi, I'm with the commander and I'm about to perform some surgery on it to uh, see if I can improve the cooling. Now this wheel was provided to me by eWheels uh, for testing. Thanks again, Jason. I really appreciate you uh, providing me this wheel. I'm having a blast with it so far, uh, but it does run hot. And you may have seen a video I recently published where I did a test with the Sherman, where we climbed about 5,000 feet up a mountain. Uh, temperature was in the lower 80s Fahrenheit. And uh, it's, a, it's really a great test I find for seeing if a wheel uh, it's going to ha have a tendency to overheat. And we demonstrated conclusively that this runs 15 to 20 degrees Celsius hotter than the Sherman. And, you know, that's significant. And uh, Gatway saw that uh, video and uh, a little bit concerned. And uh, I guess they looked into it further and they uh, agreed that yeah, this is running hot and they, they need to do something about it. And they did, they found a solution. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna uh, implement my version of the, their fix. Now they're, uh, they're uh, fixing the, the commanders in the factory right now that are to be shipped. But if you happen to have a commander like I do right now, and very early version of it, and your wheel runs hot, you're probably going to want to do uh, what I'm going to uh, show you right now. First, let me show you how air gets in and out of this wheel currently. Now, this is the back, the back of the wheel, the speaker module. And the control board is up here. So the, there's access from inside here to a channel that flows below the control board. Kind of like the Sherman, but it looks like a little more constricted than the Sherman. And right here are a series of little holes. That is exhaust from the air that's entering the wheel. And here's the front of the wheel with a corresponding module like in the back, but this is for the front lights. And you can see here are the intake holes. And uh, in my judgment, these are definitely better than those little holes in the back. Uh, though they could probably even be bigger. If I had uh, my personal copy, I might cut out these uh, little bits and make these just big holes to even get more air in here. But uh, apparently you don't have to touch this to improve the cooling, so we shall see. There's two parts to the fix. One part is to drill two large holes in the corner to uh, provide more airflow out of the shell. So that'll be pretty easy to do. Now to get this out, th these modules are really tightly in here. So I, I basically had to take a fine screwdriver and kind of wedge it be uh, between this lip and the shell to, and to, to pry it out a little bit. I did it from the, I did mar the plastic a little bit. I did it from the bottom so you won't, you won't see that little bit of damage unless you're uh, sitting on your your back looking up at the wheel. Uh, but once I got the screwdriver in there a little bit, this popped out pretty pretty easy. So these holes will be easy to drill with the drill pro with the hand drill. Let me show you up inside here. Now here is inside behind the the uh, saw module. There's a hole here. And this is supposed to provide the uh, airflow from the front to the back. And uh, so what Godway did is basically ground, ground this down, essentially doubling the size of this opening. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I started a little, did a little test here. I'm just going to use a Dremel to uh, pretty much double the size of this.
That's uh, close enough. <laughs> and uh, next, just drill those little two holes. And I'll uh, vacuum this up. That's it. I'll clean this up now a little bit, pull it out, get a little bits, and uh, we're done. All right, well, didn't take too long. It wasn't too hard to do, if you don't mind grinding plastic. And uh, two additional holes don't look too bad. Uh, I'm really encouraged that Gatway was open to uh, suggestions that... Uh, the wheel needed a little bit of more work. Uh, so I'm really optimistic that this is gonna do the job. And they really said that the temperature dropped quite a bit once they, uh, once they made this mod. And uh, I, of course, will be testing it soon. And uh, look for a future video. And uh, hopefully I'll be telling you that, yeah, this is a cool running wheel, at least as cool as the Sherman, which has proven to be a, a pretty good wheel in terms of um, not overheating. All right, guys. Talk to you later.